the Mini lineup has expanded far beyond just that original ultra-cool retro Cooper. These days there's pretty much a Mini for everybody. And this is one of the newest models. This is the Cooper SE Countryman All 4, which is a very long, complicated way of saying that this is a plug-in hybrid, all-wheel drive version of the Mini Countryman small crossover. So, let's take a closer look at what it brings to the table. How does it look? This car is instantly recognizable as a Mini, with its funky rounded design elements and squat stance. You can customize the outside to your heart's desire. Note that this one has a contrast color roof and optional black wheels. In general, this version of the Countryman looks a whole lot sharper than the original, as if it slimmed down and went to the gym a bit for its second generation. How's the storage? You get a teensy little bit less storage space than in a standard Mini Countryman, because the battery pack is under the floor. But overall, as you can see, there's a good amount of storage space for all the things you might need to store on an everyday basis. Now, yes, the 110 volt charging port is taking up a little bit of space in the trunk, but we've got some extra storage hidden here under the floor. And like any good hatchback or crossover, I can fold down those back seats to get even more room for storing suitcases, as we will now demonstrate. Storage is a little tight inside, with a very small compartment in the armrest, though there's a handy storage space ahead of the cup holders to stash your phone. The door pockets will hold other small items if you need more space. Is it roomy? Despite a very upright driving position, the front seats are nice and spacious, and because this car doesn't have a sunroof, there's also a good amount of headroom. Move to the back and you'll find things are a little tighter, but still totally acceptable for adults. You might not want to sit three across, but two people will fit back here fine. How does the interior feel? The inside is perhaps one of the negatives for the Mini Countryman. There's a lot of plastics around here that look and feel like they belong more in an economy car than in a premium one. Now, our car has some nice dress-up bits, and the toggles and switches are all generally pretty high quality. But overall, this interior doesn't necessarily feel like it lives up to the car's lofty sticker price. Is it well equipped? There are plenty of options available for all versions of the Mini Countryman, but remember that many of them are options. This car doesn't have power seats, for instance, but it does have goodies like heated seats, push-button start, color-changing ambient lights, navigation, wireless phone charging, and a head-up display. A backup camera is standard, and forward collision braking is optional, but you can't get things like lane keep assist. How's the infotainment system? Mini's infotainment system can be controlled either from the center console knob and buttons, or by touching the screen. A version of the iDrive software from BMW vehicles, it pairs funky graphics with a reasonably straightforward menu. Navigation is optional, and you can write numbers and letters on the control knob. Apple CarPlay and wireless phone charging are both available as options, but there's no support for Android Auto connectivity. Is it a good daily driver? Certainly as a daily driver, the Mini Countryman is pretty nice. Now this one, as we mentioned, is the plug-in hybrid version. So up front, I've got a turbocharged 1.5 litre inline 3 engine, and then in the back, I've got an electric motor generator. What that means is that I can drive for short distances on electrical power alone, and you get all-wheel drive because the motor is in the back. The integration of those two powertrains is actually really good and smooth. You really don't notice when there's the handoff between the electric motor or the gas engine for the most part, and the gas engine is pretty quiet and smooth even when it is running, for instance, on the highway. Being that the Countryman is positioned as a small crossover, you've got a reasonably high ride height as well, which makes it easy to see around in and out of traffic, and the ride is actually pretty comfortable and composed too. Is it fun to drive? 
it's actually a pretty punchy little thing. With the engine and the electric motor working together, you get 221 horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque. Now, those are pretty decent numbers. That's not that different than what you get in the high-performance Countryman JCW. Of course, this car doesn't actually handle and brake like a JCW, but with 0 to 60 time of 6.8 seconds, it's reasonably fun from behind the wheel. The one thing that saps your driving enjoyment is, like in a lot of hybrids, a pretty limp brake feel. It's kind of hard to judge what the brake pedal is actually doing as it switches off between the regenerative brakes and the real friction brakes. How's the fuel economy? Because this is a plug-in hybrid, the key metric here is that this car can go 12 miles on electricity alone when it's fully charged. Charging up that battery takes as little as 3 hours and 15 minutes. The EPA rates the combined gas engine and motor at 65 mpge, and running on the gas engine alone will return 27 mpg combined. How much is it? This plug-in hybrid model is the second most expensive version of the Countryman, starting just below the GoFast JCW version at $36,800 before options. And this one is optioned up to an even $40,000. But don't forget that it's eligible for a tax credit of up to $4,000, helping lower that sticker shock just a little bit. What are the negatives? You do pay a big premium to equip your Mini Countryman with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. And even then, it doesn't offer as much electric driving range as some of its similarly priced competitors. Who should buy it? The big appeal of the Countryman is that, well, it's a Mini. Now, if you're looking for a plug-in hybrid car, well, this maybe isn't the best choice. There are more affordable options with longer driving ranges. But in a general sense, this is a car with funky interior and exterior styling, a wide range of turbocharged engines, and a reasonably practical amount of space on board, making the Mini Countryman worth your consideration in the small crossover class. 